This step-by-step, hands-on demonstration of Western blotting is designed for those of you new to the technique, making it easy for you to get started. To ensure good results, here are three things to think about before you start. One, that the sample is of good quality. Two, that the electrophoresis gel is loaded optimally. Third, that you select the correct electrophoresis conditions and wet or semi-dry transfer method according to protein size and characteristics. First, prepare the gel for blotting by trimming off excess gel. One corner of the gel can be cut off to help with orientation. Then, equilibrate and transfer buffer for 10 minutes to maintain gel shape. As with all PVDF membranes, the GE High Bond P blotting membrane must be pre-wetted in methanol, rinsed in distilled water for 5 minutes, then equilibrated in transfer buffer for 10 minutes. Always use a blotting membrane of the same size and shape as the gel and the correct size for the frame. Build the sandwich carefully using two papers, pre-wetted in transfer buffer, on each side of the gel and membrane. It is important to remove all air bubbles from the sandwich. Carefully use a roller or a cut-down pipette or glass rod to squeeze them out. Place the sandwich in the transfer tank. To avoid errors, always orientate the sandwich with the anode towards you. Transfer the proteins to the membrane with the desired voltage. Confirm the transfer by looking at transferred rainbow markers on the membrane. If it looks like this, you are doing well. Next, block the free sites on the membrane using ECL Prime Blocking Reagent, which is compatible with your other reagents. Add the blocking agent and place on a rocking table. Blocking normally takes one hour at room temperature. Use this time to prepare the primary and secondary antibodies. Dilute your primary antibody with PBST. If working with phosphorylated proteins, you must use TBST. Always use high quality antibodies and optimize the dilution in the range of 1 to 1,000 to 1 to 50,000. Using ECL Prime keeps precious primary antibody use to a minimum. Next, wash the membrane in wash buffer for 5 minutes. Repeat once more. Add the primary antibody, diluted in PBST, to the membrane. Then, incubate on the rocking table for one hour at room temperature. Rinse the membrane twice with wash buffer, then wash in wash buffer for five minutes. Repeat five or six times. Add the second HRP-labeled antibody to the membrane and incubate for one hour. When using ECL Prime, the secondary antibody can be diluted in the range of 1 to 50,000 to 1 to 200,000. Finally, rinse the membrane twice with wash buffer, then wash in wash buffer for 5 minutes. Repeat 5 or 6 times. Now we're ready for the detection reagent. ECL Prime reagent is the ideal choice for detection in Western blotting. It works well with all detection methods. Prepare ECL Prime according to the instructions. Allow it to warm up to room temperature in the dark. Add the reagent to the membrane, making certain the entire membrane is covered. Incubate the membrane for 5 minutes at room temperature and in the dark if you choose. Drain excess reagent from the membrane and place on a clean, smooth surface, such as plastic film. Now you are ready for detection. X-ray film can be used, but a CCD camera is a better choice. There is no time pressure. The reaction is instant, and the signal will last for hours. Place the membrane into the beautiful LAS 4000 or 4000 Mini CCD imager. The stable signals let you repeat exposures to achieve the best sensitivity. ECL Prime with CCD imaging gives you high sensitivity, broad dynamic range, and long-lasting stable signals. For best results, remember to optimize exposure time. Follow the steps in this video, and ECL Prime will give you results you have only dreamt about.